Today we have the top 10 momentum control cheater weapons. Exotics edition. These crutch weapons will help anybody stomp in PvP. Starting off with number 10. We have the Traveler's Chosen. The Traveler's Chosen is a sidearm that takes about 4 shots to kill somebody, but its ability Gathering Light is what really sets it up as a crutch weapon. Since ability regeneration is limited in momentum control, being able to stack up Gathering Light and then consuming those stacks to get melee and grenade energy sets up for some really nice kill streaks. I wasn't expecting to put the Traveler's Chosen on this list, but it's easy handling and it's exotic passive make it a great crutch weapon for those who really need to use their grenade and melee abilities. On top of that, it's just a really fun gun to use. Number 9, the Outbreak Perfected. Now, the Outbreak Perfected is a pulse rifle that does a little explosion of nanites that track like a swarm grenade. Now, the Outbreak Perfected isn't higher on the list because you have to get a precision kill for those nanites to spawn, and that can't be guaranteed when just about every other weapon on the list is a one-shot. But when you get its catalyst, it allows you to activate the passive with body shots. The gun overall is fun to use, but it underperforms in damage and TTK. That's why we haven't put it higher on the list. Though there is something satisfying about hearing that explosion of nanites set off. Number 8 on our list is the Osteoporosis. A submachine gun that you can craft, the Osteostriga fires a stream of sentient toxic projectiles that track on the targeted enemies. That, plus its straight toxic overload, make this an amazing subby for clearing cl ah. clearing crowds. Clearing crowds. Although its initial damage isn't that strong, the damage over time from its poison and its po poison nova make this an amazing crutch weapon for any new players. Number 7, The Wish Ender. Now, unlike all the other exotics on this list, the Wish Ender is actually extremely annoying to acquire, but it is definitely worth it. The trait Queen's Wrath is practically just wall hacks. When it's fully drawn, you can see through the walls and get some amazing headshots. This bow is a one shot in the head and a two shot in the body, but with the extra wall hacks, I find myself getting headshots a lot more often. This one's lower on the list because it does require a little bit of skill, and the point of a crutch weapon is no skill. Which brings us to number 6, Ariana's Vow. Ariana's Vow has Death at First Glance, which gives bonus damage when aiming down sights on the opening shot of an attack. This bonus is preserved if the shot deals precision damage or strikes an elemental shield. Unlike most hand cannons, this hand cannon does use special ammo, and you start off with about 4 rounds. Since it is a 2 shot to kill and the shots come off relatively fast, you can get about 2 rounds and then scavenge more ammo to continue your killing spree. This exotic, like most of them on this list, can be acquired through the Monument to Lost Lights. And also, unlike most hand cannons, it does come with a scope. Although it is one of the stronger of the exotics on this list, it is my least favorite. I'm just not a fan of hand cannons. That brings us to number 5, Polaris Lance. Now the Polaris Lance is a scout rifle with some pretty neat features on it. However, even without its catalyst or even landing the perfect Hammer. fifth, its exotic trait, it's still an extremely strong okay. scout rifle, taking only two shots to take down most guardians. Its exotic trait, Perfect Fifth, loads a explosive solar round after landing four precision shots. This shot does huge damage and creates a massive explosion. Mixing this with some of the solar sub-class fragments like Ember of Eruption can have some devastating effects. This brings us to number 4, the Forerunner. The Forerunner is an exotic sidearm that uses special ammo, and for a good reason. Unlike the Traveler's Chosen, you only need to get two shots with the Forerunner to land a kill. This weapon has 100 range, meaning it does not drop off in damage. This exotic weapon is just naturally strong. And drop a like if you know what game that Destiny is paying homage to with this weapon. Number 3. The Cold Heart. Now, I chose the Cold Heart because of its perk Cold Fusion, which increases its damage the longer you remain on target. But honestly, you could put any Trace Rifle in this spot. The Cold Heart, Divinity, Ruinous Effigy, and the Wave Split are all 
fun trace rifles to play laser tag with. Number two. The Jade Rabbit. The Jade Rabbit's The Fate of All Fools is a nice trait, but the gun itself is just strong. Much like the Polaris Lance and the Forerunner, it only takes two shots to take down a Guardian. But chaining body shots will give you bonus damage on your next precision shot and return ammo to the magazine, which is nice. If you've been playing momentum control at all, you've probably been shot by this weapon. It's low TTK and it's insane range makes it a go-to scout rifle. Now before we get into number one on our list, I wanted to bring up some honorable mentions. The Bad Juju is a pulse rifle that gives you super energy on kills, and it fires in full auto, but this was beat out by Outbreak Perfected. The Huckleberry is a exotic submachine gun, but it gets outperformed by legendary subbies like the Funnel Web or the Callus Mini Tool. And it just wouldn't be right to be talking about crutch weapons and not bring up the Jotun. Its homing one-shot capabilities are nice, but having to charge up usually gets you killed in momentum control. And last on our honorable mentions is Mida Multi-Tool, which is just a weaker version of the Polaris Lance and the Jade Rabbit, but its scope highlights enemies, which is nice. Makes it easier to land some of those sweet headshots. So let's go on to number one on our list. The Dead Messenger. The Dead Messenger is a waveframe grenade launcher, but unlike normal waveframes such as the Deafening Whisper and the Explosive Personality, it shoots three waves. This three wave blast is a one shot, like its legendary counterparts. You get this exotic by completing the Vox Obscura exotic quest, and is by far the strongest weapon on this list. Even if your enemy does manage to kill you, your grenade's already out and is going to guarantee a one for one trade sometimes two for one. Pair this with any exotic armor pieces that allow you to stay in the sky longer, an exotic like the Lion Rampant, and you can just function as a B2 bomber. And that's our list. Let me know down in the comments if you liked it and you want more content like this. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bells so you can see when I post the Legendaries version. And remember, have a wonderful day.